Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Um, I hope you guys have been doing great and your day has been going well. Today's video, I'm showing you how I get my natural hair to actually curl. So if you guys are familiar with Asian hair, um, I don't know if like you have any of Asian friends who are women or even men, like we have really, really, typically we have really, really straight hair. Um, some are really fine, some are pretty like thick. For mine, it's very thick, it's very straight. Um, I have a lot of hair hair, it's heavy, um, and typically the, it doesn't hold curls that well. Um, so that's why today I want to show you what I do and the method that I use and the tools that I use to get the perfect curled hair. Um, I'm someone who doesn't have any color in my hair. This is all my natural hair. This is just my hair color. And um, I find that it's expensive to color my hair. It's hard to uh, maintain it and keep it up like the color if I do dye it. So um, I've just really embraced my natural natural hair color and my natural hair texture. Um, I find that my hair does hold curls better, of course, when there's products, like when there's dyes and stuff in it. Um, but because I want to just like keep my natural hair the way it is, uh, the tools that I use in this video really do hold the curl well. They hold it for a couple of days and actually I really love the way that it's been, um, my hair's been coming out. A lot of you guys have noticed it too in a lot of my Instagram photos where I've curled my hair. So um, yeah, I just wanted to create a video for you guys showing you how I curl my natural, my naturally straight Asian hair, um, but also just naturally no colored hair as well. Um, you won't be able to see the texture as well um, as if it had highlights and low lights and embalage and ombre and all that kind of stuff. Stuff, but um, I think you'll still be able to see um, the texture through the sunlight and hopefully the sun will do a good job at showing you um, just how buttery and how soft these curls really look. Let's just get on with the video. So before we start the actual like tutorial and like the blowout and the curl and everything, I wanted to show you um, the shampoo and conditioner I did use today. It's the Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Shampoo. Um, I don't know much about shampoo and conditioner. I only know like um, what works for me and I actually still produce a lot of oil in my hair. Um, I have really, really oily skin. Most of you know that and I have a lot of oil and I get a lot of buildup in my hair and I find that when I don't use this I've try I try like a lot of different shampoos because I get sent a lot of different things and when I don't use this it it almost feels like I can scratch my head and then I get like stuff under my nails and I know that sounds gross like I know like literally you're probably thinking like that's disgusting um, and it really is but I find that when I use this with the scalp revival um, the tea tree oil like uh, serum it really really helps my scalp and it doesn't feel as like oily and gross if that makes sense, like there's not a lot of buildup. So I use this for shampoo and conditioner today. But let's just get on with how I blow dry my hair first. So I'm gonna start off with my way leave-in conditioner. Next, I'm gonna go in with my T3 Micro um, Cura Lux hair blow dryer. Um, I've got the wider nozzle on it. I always part my hair kind of off center. I just use my hands to do this portion. You can use a hairbrush. This is um, just a smooth paddle brush. I'll go ahead and for me, because I have so much hair, I like to section it off. Um, I like to do the bottom and then the top. And then I'm gonna take my round brush. Um, this is the two and a half round brush. When it comes to blow drying, I always blow dry outward. One of you guys recently asked me if it was allowed a hair blow dryer on the website and on the reviews it says that it claims that it isn't loud and that it's quiet. Personally, when I turn a hair blow dryer on, I just expect it to be loud so I didn't really notice this really incredibly quiet blow dryer or anything like that. But the reason I like it is because it's so lightweight. Um, it's so easy and it doesn't make my arms super tired after using it. That's like one of the things I love about it. It also comes with two different nozzles, so you have a more concentrated nozzle with a thinner kind of air blower tunnel, I guess, and then you have this thicker one, which I use to rough blow dry and um, do my blowout. So once the bottom section is all complete, I take down the top half, and then I'll just do one side at a time. So how I blow out my hair is I'll take a section of hair um, with the hairbrush underneath the hair and then I'll pull away and as I pull away I have the hair blow dryer going up and down and as I run it up and down I'll curl again and then I kind of like 
twist my wrist so that the hair falls off of the uh, round brush, if that makes sense. So that leaves like a really nice looking curl to the hair. So I didn't see any claims about this on the website, but I noticed that the handle is almost like motion censored and there's sensors on the handle because when I'd let go of the handle, it would just stop, which I thought was cool, but it does take some time to get used to. Okay, so for this side, again, I just take a strand of hair, I grab my round brush, tuck it underneath the hair, I'll pull it straight, so we'll pull straight. And then, and then I'll twist, twist, twist up. So once I have all the hair twisted up, I'll unravel one section and then I'll keep blow drying. And then I'll unravel another section and then I'll keep blow drying. Okay, and then I'll simply let go. And that's the finished hair right over here. So those are all the sections completed. Um, this is what my hair looks like when I blow dry it. Um, and it looks nice and bouncy. There's a lot of body to it. There's a lot of bounce to it. Um, I really like the way that my hair looks when I freshly blow dry it. And now I'm just gonna show you guys how I style my hair. Okay, so we're using the Twirl Trio T3 Micro Interchangeable Wands. Um, I am really, really excited for this system and to show you guys because it is a little bit pricier. I completely understand that but a lot of you guys wanted to know my thoughts on it and if I thought it was worth it the bottom of the box has a um, little bag for you to carry all your things do most curling iron brands like give you one of these because I feel like this is super handy for traveling it's got like different sections for your wands um, like little pockets and stuff so I think that's super cool let me go ahead and plug this bottom section in today we're gonna use the one inch barrel I think this is the one inch the one thing I will say is I wish they put the like names or like the length on the um on the barrel just so that you would know which one you're using. So it's super duper easy. All you do is click it in and then just twist it. And then you're all good to go. You turn on the power button and now she's getting ready to um get hot and already it's been like what two seconds since i touched it and it's already warm so while i let this guy heat up let's go ahead and tie our hair up into two sections i like working in two sections because i just feel like when i i used to when i used to curl my hair i used to do like four sections at a time and it just took me forever so um now i really like to just do two sections because i find that it doesn't actually take me that long so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and just brush out the bottom of my hair, make sure there's no knots or anything. It's pretty soft already from the blowout. I'm warning you guys, this curling iron is really, really hot, so you just wanna be really, really careful. Just take a section of hair, clamp it in, leave the ends like maybe like an inch. Um, I would just recommend like leaving it like, <sighs> I think a bug just flew in my face. And then I kind of like let go a little bit at a time, let it cool. This is how I cool my hair honestly. And then it, you're left, you're left with like this really, really nice, um, just bend in the hair. Um, you don't really want to like curl the actual end pulling away and downward. Like I'm just unclamping a little bit at a time and pulling it down. And then that's the kind of curl effect that you get. For me, there was a bit of a learning curve with this tool only because the iron is so hot that it kind of scared me a little bit in the beginning. But once I got used to it, it is amazing to use, so easy. Okay, and that's the curl. So here is the curled section and here's the straight section. I really just like to run my fingers through my hair to make sure it looks a little bit more natural. So let's go ahead and do this side here. It is not a good idea to film outside, honestly. There are so many things going on, like bugs and fire fire um, trucks and like all that kind of stuff. It's like too much. I just like wanted to try because I thought it was a vibe, but the sun is going like in and out. I always find that like doing the bottom sections of my hair is always harder. You can go like um, two different ways, by the way. So I'm going for this curl, I'm going like inward. Um, and I feel like that gives a really natural look too. Sometimes I forget like which way I'm going um, or like which way I went 
the previous time and I think that's the beauty of just like curling your hair like it doesn't have to be perfect um because in the end like with this at least like my hair has come out really really nice every single time um and because of how hot the iron is like it just really holds the curl it keeps the curl and especially for someone who has naturally straight hair hair texture that doesn't hold curls very well I find that this iron does a really fantastic job at holding the curl and we just hold it here it's starting to get really hot because of this like iron. It's starting to get really, really hot. And I'm kind of, as you can see, like I'm using my index finger to kind of like unclamp it a little. Ooh, that's hot. And personally, I'm normally like the type to use hairspray because um, of how like not well my hair holds curls, but actually it does a pretty good job at holding it when I use this iron, so. And like this iron is just such an aesthetic. Both sides complete, let's take down our hair. It's genuinely that fast. It hasn't even been like five minutes. And cause I blow dry my hair, it's all like voluminous. I found with this iron, you can take pretty big sections um, and it still curls really, really well. Using this iron has really cut down in half almost um, the time it takes me to curl my hair cause of how quick and hot the iron is. Like look how pretty that is. Can you guys see that? I love doing the front sections of my hair because it really just like frames the face. They're my favorite parts to do my hair. You guys, and that's this side completely done. Like literally, I don't know if the sun will catch the different texture. I know I don't have any color in my hair and that's why it's hard to see the different like waves and the texture of it because it's all like one color. But you guys, if you saw my curls in person, they look fabulous. They look so bouncy, so voluminous and incredibly defined. And that's what I always look for in a hair curler, just like definition and really looking like I actually curled my hair and stuff. Because like I said, my hair is the type to um, not hold curls really, really like well the curl holds so well i don't know like what it is i don't know if it's like how my hair works with this iron um but it just works really really well like it does a really fantastic job it's always been easier to do this side of my hair than the other side um for some reason i don't know why i feel like it stays hot i feel like i've used other irons that like actually gets like cool after i use it even though it's on and stuff so again just shake it out like this um, it actually does a good job at making me not like curl the same uh, piece of hair like three or four times like before I used to curl the same piece of hair um, a lot of times because I wouldn't realize that that piece was curled because it would just like loosen up so all I did was damage more of my hair I didn't actually like curl my hair because I was just like taking the iron like over the same piece of hair like a hundred times pretty much. So yeah, that's what's nice about this because um, it kind of prevents you from curling the same piece over and over again because it doesn't like flatten out. Like you see like we curled this piece, we curled this piece like first and it's still the same. Um, it hasn't lost its definition. It hasn't lost its curl yet. And then if I need to touch up any parts near the roots because I feel like that's where your hair can look really, really flat. Um, I just go in and I do half of it. So like here, for example, I'll just do like one curl and then I'll kind of pull away. But honestly, yeah, like that's literally every single piece of hair. And at this point, I don't like using product in my hair because number one, I don't need it when I use this iron. After I've after the hair is cooled just a little bit, I like to take the paddle brush and brush it through like really gently one time. Just kind of break up the curls a little bit just so that it gives a more like naturally soft kind of wave versus like a super defined um, like curl. When you brush it through with the paddle brush one time, it makes it a lot more buttery looking. I do like to go in with Gizu's um, hair perfume. I like to go in with this just because um, it really holds the, the scent in my hair and it, I don't know, makes me feel extra fabulous when I do it.
And that's the end. Honestly, you guys, it's so, so easy. Um, using all of the T3 products, like the round brush and the blow dryer and all of that stuff, it's actually so easy. Like I feel like T3 uh, Micro is one of those really innovative um, brands that isn't really that, that, that crazy expensive. Um, so I really appreciate that. And I also appreciate them sending me these products. Um, I've used tons and tons of hair curlers before. I have a, um, a Hot Tools hair curler. And personally, I just don't find that it curls the same um, the definition isn't the same and um, yeah I just I really really do like this product a lot that's why they are sold in Sephora Sephora sells really really amazing products and you guys should definitely not just take my, one review like my review and be like okay I'm gonna go buy it now you should definitely watch a couple of different reviews the great thing about it is that it sells in Sephora so they have a ton of reviews online as well I'd recommend checking those out too um, but yeah these are how I get my curls and they're just so romantic they're so soft um, my boyfriend really loves it when I curl my hair. He really likes the way it looks and he's recently been complimenting my hair a lot because of using the T3 Micro. So I'm really happy with the way it looks and came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video despite all the sun going in and out. Um, let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!